Oh, hey, many of you were asking me how I did the alien voice and little green man effect on my face in the vlog I did from Area 51 the other day, so I thought in true Mike Russell tutorial style, I'd show you. Here I am inside Premiere Pro, and as you can see right now, I've got video and audio linked together. First thing I want to do is unlink by right-clicking either the video or audio unlinking, and now they're independent of each other, and I can hit the C key, and I can make a cut right here just before I start my alien voice. Take me to your leader. Which doesn't sound too scary at the moment, does it? So uh, what I need to do now, now that I've made a little cut here, I need to duplicate this twice uh, so that I can start to mess about with it. So hold down the Option key or Alt if you're on a PC, and just drop that onto another track, and again, drop it onto another track. Now you've got a tripled up voice of me, uh, but no changes yet. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pitch shift the top and the bottom duplicate there. So we'll just go into the effects menu here, which is available in the effects workspace, and we type in pitch. Okay, cool, pitch shifter. Zoomp, drop that on one, and zoomp, drop that on another. Whoops, didn't quite do it there, zoomp drop. There we go. Okay. So on the first one, we'll go into the pitch shifter, we'll edit it, and we'll pitch it down. Uh, six semitones. There we go. And then on the second one, we'll go in and edit the pitch shifter effect, which by the way is in effect controls, if that's not showing over here in the top left. Uh, and you just go into edit, and then we'll pitch that up. Six semitones. Simple as that. Next thing, we're not quite done there. I'm going to switch off the right channel by panning that all the way down there, and I'll do the same, but the opposite, switch off the left channel on this one. Therefore, we get a stereo effect like this. Take, take me, me to, to your leader. leader. We, we have, have come, come to take, take over. over. Pretty scary, isn't it? Pretty alien-like. But next, and to complete the effect, I want to do the little green man thing on my face. So easy to do in Premiere Pro. And again, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, so now we need to go into the Lumetri color, which again, available in the effects workspace here in Premiere. There we go, and uh, we need to select the video, so here it is. And again, now would be a good time to make a cut. And the place I'm gonna make the cuts on the video is just as I take my shades off and when they're out of frame. So as soon as those are out of frame, there, I'm gonna see and I'm gonna make a cut. And now I'm gonna select this area here, and I'm going to scroll down until I find hue versus hue, click the pipette, click my face, and there's a dot and you just drag the dot down until it goes green. Look at that, how weird's that? Uh, it's not all done, so just select other portions of the face again with the pipette like this. Zoop, and back down to the green. And the same with this, this can all go green. Look at that, look at that little green man. Uh, up here, there's still a little bit of work to be done, so no worries there. We can just make that green, and that green. Oh yes, that is a little green man, if ever I did see one. Uh, now you'll see the transition is quite harsh. It just switches like that. Too harsh for my liking. So really simple, back up to the effects menu. Look for a simple cross dissolve. There it is, cross dissolve. Simplest effect in Premiere Pro, make it a bit shorter. And we got this. That's a cool. Fade to green. This. Take me to your leader. We have come to take over. And that is exactly how you create an alien voice and little green man effect on your face inside Adobe Premiere Pro.